All right, I'm out here at my RV. I've uh, been having some issues with my generator lately. In particular, uh, it's not starting so well. Um, so I've already kind of diagnosed what's going on. I'm just gonna show you. So here's the throttle. This is fully open. This is fully closed. It's not gonna run when it's fully closed, right? Let me show you what happens when I crank it. It immediately fully shuts off there. So of course it's not gonna start when that happens. In fact, it can, if I disconnect this from the uh, governor, where is that? Oh, it's right here. So this is attached to the governor, which tells us to open or close based on the readings it's getting from the engine's RPM. So let me put two hands for this. Disconnect this real quick. Uh, one second. Uh, there we go. All right. Yeah, there. Uh, okay. All right, so this is fully disconnected and uh, this only connects one way, so yeah, it's not a. Uh, these wires aren't mixed up or anything. All right, so now this isn't going to be controlled. So let's see. Well, that's what's going on in short um i'm going to uh bring inside the rv and take a look at the owner's manual and i'll show you what i think's going on here all right so i got my uh, owner's manual for the rv here and fortunately it does have a wiring diagram in it which proves to be very handy once in a while all right so let's grab a little pointer instrument here one second Alright, so, so this is the governor board and everything connected to it right here. Alright, so these wires here are what go to, to the uh, stepper motor. It seems highly unlikely the stepper motor is bad. This is just a very simple motor. From what I can tell, it's just being told close all the way. So, the question I ask is, why is it being told that? Like, what, what in this governor board um, is receiving information? Like, what's going on? So if you follow some of these other wires, MP here, if you look at the legend over here, magnetic pickup. So there's a sensor, if you follow these, that detects the engine RPM. So what this is, is there's a magnet attached here. And each time the flywheel teeth pass by this, it'll induce an AC voltage. And that is what the governor is reading to detect the engine RPM. So the governor is supposed to, uh, for this particular generator, is supposed to keep the engine RPM at 1800. Okay. For some reason, it's just deciding, you know what, I don't want to deal with this. I'm just closing the throttle. So it's possible that this is bad in causing this. So this seems like the most likely culprit. If it's not, if it ends up not being this, I would assume something's wrong with the board here. I mean, it's a 24 year old board. It could be a component that went bad on it. Um, I mean, maybe it's possible the stepper motor is bad. Seems highly unlikely. But this seems like the most likely culprit. So that's where I'm starting things. And yeah, I've already poked into this a little bit. I'll, I'll show you what I'm seeing. All right, so I have done some research on these magnetic pickups. I mean, not this particular one, but you know, they're built similarly across different applications. And um, so I'm probed into them to this right here, have the meter the ohms. From what I've researched, I should be getting a reading, depending on the type of setup you're using, say somewhere between 100 to 1,000 ohms. And 
Yeah, this thing isn't registering or reading. I mean, I'm, I'm jiggling the wires around a bit, and once in a while I can get something in the mega ohms, but yeah, that's far off from what we're looking for. And another thing I wanted to test while I was out here is I should be getting um, AC pulses when I'm cranking this guy. Okay. So let's see if we zero this out. No. I mean, that's fine. We should see, uh, should be able to tell if there's any changes here. Again, absolutely nothing doing that. Alright, yeah, so I'm being led to believe that this uh, magnetic pickup is, in fact, bad. Um, I would like to to uh, verify that, but I don't have the equipment to do so. I guess if um, if you had the equipment, you could send some AC pulses through this to mimic that and see if this uh, motor is behaving differently. But I don't have the equipment to do that, so I think I'm just gonna have to shell out the hundred bucks for this guy and hope it fixes it. Um, yeah, and that's a. Uh, I think that's going to be all for out here, so I'll see you soon. Alright, the uh, new magnetic pickup came in the mail today. First thing I did was tested the resistance reading on it. And yeah, that's something more in line with what I would expect to see. So I'm pretty sure the old one was fried. So yeah, um, go out and hook this up and make sure it works, but... Hopefully I'm good now. Okay, so the generator is up and running again. Governor is working correctly now. Problem was the speed sensor, although it wasn't an easy swap the part out kind of thing. So I put the new speed sensor in originally and it was still doing the same exact thing. So. You know, with the new one, I didn't have any specs or anything to go on. I just kind of read, yeah, turn it in all the way until it bottoms out, then unturn it about three quarters of a turn and go with that. That's what I went with. I was still getting the same thing. I uh, hooked my uh, multimeter leads up to the magnetic pickup leads. I was reading about 0 0.3 volts AC. You know, I didn't, I didn't know what the hell I was supposed to be getting with that. I was like, okay, you know, I need to take a break from this. So I looked around a bit, found a service manual for this thing, ordered it, $35, completely worth it. After I got this, it took me about 10 minutes to get this thing working again. All right. So here's the electronic governor section for this particular repair. This is the information we need to look at. All right, like I said, when I put this in at first, I didn't have any specs or anything. I got this manual, I got the specs right here. So magnetic pickup air gap is 40 thousandths of an inch, plus or minus 5 thousandths, all right? So yeah, the air gap is distance between the magnet and the flywheel teeth here. Okay, so I have this, I have a feeler gauge, all right? Stuck it in there. And I could immediately tell, okay, this is way more than 40 thousandths of an inch. And that's when I figured out where I had made my mistake. My mistake was I thought it had bottomed out, but it actually hadn't bottomed out. It just got a little stuck on the threads here. So turn it a little harder and it started going again. And yeah, I was able to uh, tighten that down quite a bit more. It was... Uh, did some tests on it after I had done that and I was getting about 1.8, 1.9 volts. As you can see here, during engine cranking, voltage should be 1.75 volts AC minimum. A lot higher than the 0 0.3 volts I was getting. So yeah, after I did that, I got that voltage reading, hooked everything up and started working like it should again. Throttle doesn't just close completely and not allow the generator to start. Uh, safety feature, obviously, and you know, it makes sense when you think about it. But yeah, I mean, that that's about all I got here. So 
if you have some kind of engine with a um, some kind of small engine with an electronic governor and your throttle's just closing immediately when you try to start it up uh, the magnetic pickup or speed sensor whatever you want to call it that's probably what you want to start looking at first that was my problem and yeah if I ever have this issue again that's gonna be the first place I look and also um, if you can pick up the service manual for whatever you're working on uh, it helps a lot um, not gonna lie totally worth the $35 this already paid for itself as far as I'm concerned and yeah we're just gonna leave it at that take it easy